February vacation week is done, mm -hmm. but there's always April break to look forward <laughs> to. You know, many of you are already daydreaming about escaping to a warmer climate. But before you hit the road, before you book an airline ticket, before you book a hotel, NBC10 consumer investigative reporter Leslie Gatiss has some game-changing travel tips. Leslie, all of us need to know how to do this so we can save some money. Yeah, these are big money savers, and I know... I can't wait to take a vacation. I'm dreaming of warmer climates. Whether you're driving, flying, or staying local this upcoming spring break, the staff at Consumers Checkbook has narrowed down three big ways you can save money on spring travel. Let's start on the road. If you've racked up some mileage over the winter, your vehicle may be due for routine maintenance. But before you call an auto shop for an estimate, be careful what you ask for. A lot of consumers, when they when they call shops to get these you know periodic maintenance packages done, they just say, "I need 30,000 mile maintenance" or "I need 60,000 mile maintenance." In a recent study, Kevin Brassler and his team at Consumers Checkbook found repair shops were more likely to give you a higher estimate if you asked for mileage-based maintenance. Instead, you should look up what your car manufacturer recommends at different mileage intervals and ask for those specific services instead. I think it's likely that they know that the, most customers don't know what work needs to be done at those service intervals and assume it may be a lot of work when, in fact, these days, cars don't need nearly as much maintenance as they used to. If you're bypassing the road and catching a flight instead, Brassler says you can save money by skipping out on travel insurance. None of them are worth buying. They're good deals for the companies that sell them. They're enormous profit centers for retailers, but they're bad deals for most consumers because they, say they contain so many policy exclusions that they're just really not worth much at all. And when it comes to finding the lowest hotel price for your stay, Brassler says it doesn't necessarily pay to shop around. And the reason is, is that the hotels themselves and all these different hotel booking websites spit out the same rates over and over again for the same stays. Almost all of them are owned by one of two companies, uh, Expedia and Booking Holdings. And they, along with hotels, have come up with agreements that say basically, for the same stay, we're all going to charge the same price across all different booking platforms. Forms. For the lowest hotel prices, Brassler says to look for price breaker or hot rate deals offered by Priceline or Hotwire. They don't tell you the name of the hotel or exact location before you book, but you could save up to 20%. And he says he's had really good luck booking those hotel rooms that way. In a statement, Booking Holdings told us that while they own travel booking sites, hotels are free to set their own prices. Expedia did not respond to a request for comment. Leslie Gatiss, NBC10 Boston.